Hello everybody, now that we have all of the new Necromancer items in the beta for build 45499, it's time to actually get some proper testing done on these sets and determine whether or not uh, they're good and what, uh, what kind of feedback we can give on these. So let's start with the same one we started with last time, the Pestilence set, which is formerly known as the Plague set. It's now the Pestilence Master set. And let's just get the elephant out of the room here. There is two There are two weapons in the beta currently that all testers are starting to realize are a little too good. And everybody's arriving to the same conclusion that those are the two weapons you use, period. The first is the Death Scythe which is each different poison skill you use increases the damage of your poison skills by 100% for 15 seconds. And then the other one is the Scythe of the Sickle, uh, or Scythe of the Cycle. I think that's what it is. Uh, your secondary skills deal 300% additional damage while bone armor is active, but reduce the remaining duration of bone armor by 4 seconds. <laughs> so those two weapons in combination are are way too freaking good and it's every single build at the moment is using them so getting that out of the way and that out of the discussion uh that is what i'm using in the background which is why i'm using all of the the pestilence stuff the um you know the poison skills in order to buff up the death cycle uh sickle and then use the bone armor rune uh, to stun them all, which works well with a ring that increases the damage of, of uh, bone spear while things are stunned. And then also, as long as I have bone armor on, I'm getting additional damage. So that's kind of what I'm using in the background. As for the rest of the build, I'm running bone spirit on number two um, with the panic attack rune, which is a poison rune. It's actually very nice. It's, it, what it does is it causes things to fear when it hits them. Uh, but it actually is, it turns out to be very nice because if things jump on me, you know, I'd have no way of getting through them because I'm not using um, any movement abilities or any ability to pass through enemies. So to fear them away from me has actually been quite nice. It also works really, really, really well with enemies like Morlu that will uh, jump away from you and teleport away because I'm using the Defiler's uh, Curuses, I guess that's how you say it, oh, which are pants in the cube, which... Bone Spirit's damage is increased by 100% for every second it's active. Plus that that stacks with uh, the new ring, which is Bone Spikes, Bone Spear, and Bone Spirit. All do 150% 150, 150 increased damage against enemies that are stunned, frozen, charmed, feared, or blinded. And just the combination of that uh, means that Bone Spirit does quite a bit of damage when I need it to. But I'm only using it for buffing that poison skill. So I've got Panic Attack on Bone Spirit running dislocation on bone armor which stuns them so that's where i'm getting that stun from uh for land of the dead i'm running plague lands just another poison skill my generator i'm using siphon blood with power shift another poison skill and bone spear i'm using blighted marrow with the poison uh obviously there to buff it up so essentially i'm getting 500 percent increased damage on my poison skills plus because of scythe of the sickle I'm getting 300% additional damage uh, on that while bone armor is active. And of course, I'm using Devouring Aura because it's freaking good with this set. Now, the thing that they've changed with the Pestilence set is that they've changed the two set. It no longer fires a Corpse Lance, it fires a Corpse Fragment. And there's just a, a minor little difference there. And it's that if you have Corpse Lance on your bar with a specific rune in mind, it no longer empowers what's being thrown out when you consume a corpse with this set, which is unfortunate. But the effect is that it takes that focus off of your corpse alliance because before the uh, the set before, it was overshadowing bone spear with the corpse lances and the corpse lances were the coolest part of the set well with this now the bone spear is the coolest part of the set which was the intended purpose of the set that's fine and all but at this point with this change it doesn't really feel like the corpse uh, fragments are doing anything at all I never really look forward to hitting the button um, to make them fly out, and, I, and I'm not really looking to consume corpses to make them do damage. I'm just consuming the corpses to mean that I can continue throwing bone spears. So this two-set bonus on this 
is almost non-existent to me. I, I don't really notice the difference anymore. The damage is negligible, and essentially the, the corpse lance or corpse fragment that's being thrown out is just another effect on the screen. So at this point, it's kind of gone too far in the other direction. Now that focus is completely on Bone Spear, and the corpse fragments that are being thrown out are just... They, they, they don't really exist. Like, they are doing damage, but not a lot. And because of that, it doesn't really matter that that two-set is here. So essentially, you have a two-set bonus. You have a four-set bonus and the six-set bonus. The two-set bonus does literally nothing at this rate. It, it just is... It doesn't really feel like it's affecting anything. Um, as far as getting the damage bonus or damage reduction bonus from hitting things with Bone Spear, that's still the same. And so is when you consume a corpse, you gain empowered Bone Spear charge. That increases the damage of Bone Spear by a thousand percent. So let's talk about how the fantasy is working in this set. As I said earlier, the Bone Spear is now the king of this set, which is great. That's what we wanted from it. They added a new weapon called uh, the Dread Golem Spike, which bones it makes Bone Spear cost 40 essence, which doubles the cost, and it deals 150% increased damage. The There's two things here. One, the Death Scythe, as we talked about, and the Scythe of the Cycle, they're a little too good, which means that the, dr the Dread Golem Spike you just would never take because the others are such a significant damage increase that you would never take this. Um, my thing here, and this is my thought process of considering this set and playing it and everything, is that uh, I want to check to see if the design is bad on things more so than the number. So what I, what I think in my head is if the number was higher on the set, the percentage was higher, would I then use it? Well, if this read... Bone Spear now costs 40 essence, but deals 500% increased damage. Hell yeah, I'd use that. I would use that over Death's uh, Sickle or or the uh, the Sickle of the Cycle any time because it would just be effectively better. It means that without using Death Sickle, I would be able to not use the Poison Runes, which are all fairly mediocre. The best rune on Bone Spear at the moment, in my opinion is the uh, the teeth rune, which has a, a larger effect on it, which means that you're effectively doing better AoE damage for it. But it's, um, it's effectively making sure that all the rest of your runes, you don't have to build around the poison thing. So if that red now deals 500% increased damage, mm, perfect. I would love that. Um, which means that the, the dread golem spike is not a bad weapon it's not a bad design i don't care that the 40 essence cost is there instead of the 20 essence that i normally would spend it just is that it's not doing enough damage and there's two other weapons that are effectively much much better than it but at the core of this set is a flawed ability and what i mean by that is that bone spear Regardless if you increase the damage of anything, even if Dread Golem Spike was at 500% and I could have a lot more freedom in the runes that I'm taking because I'm not having to use Death Scythe. Like, let's forget Death Scythe for a second because I think that that weapon is certainly going to be changed. It's a known quantity in the fact that the combination of Death Scythe and Scythe of the Sickle are a little overpowered. Even if I was using Dread Golem Spike and it was doing more damage, the issue is not that I'm doing more damage, therefore it feels better. It's that Bone Spear itself does not feel like it has any impact on the screen. Even with the Teeth Rune, the Teeth Rune is much better compared to all the other runes, but when you throw that thing and it just flies through enemies, there's no... It, it doesn't feel as visceral as it should, it, and it feels like it has no impact on the screen. Take with that what you will. But it almost, again, and I said this in the past uh, set video for the Plague set, that when you throw Bone Spear, it should feel like it's doing a lot more than it does. So it's either the animation on it or the sound effect on it that needs to be like beefed up. And I think that would help a lot because the Teeth Rune feels like it does a lot in that that animation and sound effect and everything is really good um, but that's I don't think that's the issue here I think that it's just such a thin projectile as I said previously that it just doesn't do much when you throw it and it is it's actually very hard to hit enemies with it especially any enemies that are floating um, because they have that weird you know issue with the hitbox being you know out of place it's the same issue that you have with any other ranged class when you're trying to hit those things with a thin projectile that goes in a straight line 
you know, such as Impale, but with this uh, ability in general, with Bone Spear, it feels like the projectile needs to be wider. And I've said this before, it just, it doesn't feel like it does anything. If it were wider, that would help it. And if, if just something to make bone spear feel more impactful would be a lot better in fact there is one more rune for bone spear other than teeth that does feel better and that's the shatter one which was when you throw it and it hits an enemy it blows up that feels really good to throw too but all of the rest of them the ones that just pierce through enemies they don't feel like they're doing anything on the screen so the result is that you have a set where you're firing these corpse fragments which literally feel like they're doing nothing like i i forget that it's even doing it half of the time even with the cool effect that's going on it just kind of fades into the background it becomes part of the the screen herpes is what i call them because it's just it's not doing anything and then when you throw bone spear it does damage if you're you know if you're empowering it with these two weapons that i talked about but it doesn't feel like it's doing anything and that is not a spot that you want to be in with a set that is all about empowering bone spear and you're seeing in the background, if I got a really good rift, I probably could do a greater rift 60, which that shouldn't be the case. I should be able to do a much higher greater rift with this build. So that tells you that not only is it not being very effective, but a percentage needs to change somewhere. So there, there does need to be a buff where I'm not sure. I don't think putting it on the set is a good idea. I think the the empowered. I actually maybe maybe it is. Maybe if the empowered uh, part of the bone spear charge was more than a thousand percent, it actually might uh, make the damage be more significant. But again, the issue is not, I believe, with adding more damage. It's the fact that bone spear doesn't feel like it's doing anything, and I think that's the core of the issue here. Now, if you look at taking death scythe away and maybe using the dread golem spike instead, and then now you have. Um, it built around Bone Spear, but that frees up what runes you're using, then that frees up all of the other abilities you're using. So maybe instead of using Bone Spirit, I would then use Grasps of Essence, which are these new gloves that uh, when an exploded corpse damages at least one enemy, your corpse explosion deals 100% increased damage for six seconds, stacking up to five times. So essentially, if I use those, um, if I use those gloves... I would throw down Land of the Dead and then just corpse explosion everything, which would be awesome. Because that would then stack up all of the um, empowered bone spear charges and everything. But then what I've noticed when going down that line of, or that train of thought, is that I don't feel like Land of the Dead is up enough. And I also feel like I am completely cornered into using Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac to get that cooldown um, all the way down to where I can use it, you know, enough it's not enough at the moment so maybe that two set bonus where it's firing a corpse lance maybe it could have something to do with maybe reducing the cooldown on land of the dead because it's a really cool ability it just doesn't feel like i get to use it enough and you know think about a greater rift guardian when you're killing them on a really high greater rift you're going to run out of corpses very very quickly and being able to use land of the dead more often I feel like would really help that. Um, so, you know, using the grasps of essence to do corpse explosion would be a lot of fun. It would free that up. Um, and then if you could have land of the dead on a quicker cooldown, then maybe fate's vow, which is a new helmet they added, which is after consuming uh, like 15 corpses, you unleash a free death Nova. I think that would actually be a really cool um, helm. If the number was lower again, I'm going back to, like it's not a bad design thing because if the number was a better number i would actually use it so if that number was after you consume five corpses unleash a free death nova that would feel really cool hitting uh land of the dead with devour um using the devouring aura and then just spamming corpse explosion and just having death like rain out from you that would feel really really good they added a new pair of shoulders uh, as well called the Corpse Whisper Pauldrons, which is when Corpse Lance damages an enemy and increases the damage by 20% for 3 seconds when you consume a corpse, max 15 stacks. That's really cool. I tried it with this set. It doesn't, again, it just feels like those corpse bones things, or the corpse uh, fragments, aren't doing it any damage. So even those shoulders, even if it was a higher percentage then I would might use I might use them. It just it doesn't feel like those corpse fragments are doing anything. And then, you know, 
on top of that, if I were doing a higher uh, greater rift, let's say this build had more damage uh, percentile on it. At the end of the day, if I was doing a greater rift 80, the, the new issue you run into is that you do not have enough damage reduction as a necromancer. And this boils down to the fact that, you know, I'm using bone armor on higher greater rifts and it still doesn't feel like it's enough. And when you die and you're having to generate your bone spear damage reduction again that doesn't feel very good but i understand that that is like a penalty you take for dying but at the very least we need more damage reduction on certain items and it is a huge issue for necromancers living in higher greater rifts i've done the new pet set build which we'll we'll go over when we go over that set um which can do like greater of 90 the problem is the issue everybody has is that the the damage reduction is just not enough and i've seen plenty of suggestions saying add a new pair of bracers that add damage reduction but i don't think that's the solution again i go back to is the percentile on these items good enough you know you look at there's uh, two specifically there's two specific uh, items that i think are really good for this set i'm running in the background which are dainties binding which Decre uh, Decrepify gains an additional, I think it's up to 30% um, damage reduction when you use Decrepify on an, um, on an enemy. So if you use the right rune, you can gain 60% damage reduction on an enemy uh, for attacks against you. But even with that, it just it doesn't feel like it's enough. I've tried that in combination with, um, with Unity, even using the Compass Rose and the Traveler's Pledge and just doing a lot of stutter stepping to keep that damage reduction up. It's like with all of that still does not feel like enough damage reduction. And then there's a new uh, ring that is your damage reduction is increased by it's like 90 something percent or 0.90 percent for every 1 percent life you're missing. So essentially 1 percent damage reduction for every 1 percent life you're missing. And that's a really cool item, but that also doesn't quite feel like enough. If it was one and a half percent, maybe it's starting to get into that realm. So we're running into the, the same problem as before is Dainty's Binding and the new ring um, are really cool designed items. They have a lot of flavor. It just, I don't use them because it doesn't feel like the percentile on them is enough. And it feels like there are plenty of other items that are better than that. You know, String of Ears is a really good belt why don't i use that instead of the one with decrepify well technically speaking you gain more damage reduction from using decrepify against uh, targets plus you get the added benefit there of you know whatever rune you're using on decrepify but it's just the percentile damage reduction isn't enough to keep you alive at all even while using bone armor so even if i could push greater rift 80 with this i'm running into the issue of i can't live and then finally you know you're looking at the new ring the Bone Spikes, Bone Spear, and Bone Spirit deal 150% increased damage against enemies that are stunned, frozen, charmed, feared, or blinded. I like that effect. I think it's really fun. I use it a lot. I think bone, uh, the Bone Armor rune that stuns them works really well for that because you kind of run in, you stun them, and then you throw your, your Bone Spears at them to kill them. Uh, quicker and then if you're using bone spirit which i like that bone spirit is on that ring because it means that you can use bone spirit with the uh the pants that increases bone spirit damage for this set as well i think that's a really cool effect and i think that should remain um what i've considered using and what i would use if i didn't have to use obsidian ring of the zodiac is i would actually use the prayer of briggs which is a new ring it's uncursed enemies are pulled to the target location when a curse is applied to them. I would actually love to use that thing with uh, Decrepify, for example. So use Dainty's Binding with Decrepify and Prayer of Briggs. And essentially what I would do is I would... Um, I would decrepify to stack things up, you know, use it like a faux cyclone strike. Then I would stun them, run slightly far further out, so I gain the effect of... Uh, whatever passive it is that um, increases the damage based on how far away you are for Bone Spear. And then also the same thing, you know, with Zay's Stone of Vengeance, you know, using those two in conjunction with that. So you Decrepify to stack them up, you stun them with Bone Armor, you move slightly far out, and then you just throw a couple Bone Spears and do a ton of freaking damage to them. That is a really fun idea, but it is completely hampered by the fact that I'm forced to take Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac to make sure that Land of the Dead is usable. And... 
I'm having to take more damage reduction items um, like the Compass Rose and Traveler's Pledge. So I can't even use that Prayer of Briggs because there's no spot for it on my person. Because in the cube, I have to use the new ring, which is the 150% increased damage against enemies that are stunned, frozen, charmed, feared, or blinded. So there you have it. Like that, I think that's actually a pretty good rundown of like what what the heck's going on with this set and where it can improve. Certainly, Bone Spear, which should be the king of this set and has become the king of the set, um, should be doing more damage. That that is something that needs to happen. Whether that's a percentile increase on the new weapon or um, something else, it just it feels like it's not doing enough. And it when you throw it, it doesn't feel fun to throw because. It just doesn't feel like it has an effect on the screen at all or an effect on any of the enemies, even though it can clearly do damage, as you see in the background. And when you stack it with the poison rune just right, you can get a lot of damage towards the further end of it um, with the percentile damage there. But that doesn't change the fact that it doesn't really feel fun to throw the ability, which means that Bone Spear at its core needs an alteration and then on top of that it doesn't feel like it does enough damage reduction between all of the different items so even if i was doing more damage doing a higher greater rift doesn't really feel like it would be possible because the damage reduction isn't there and then in conjunction with that the two-piece bonus it feels like it's a non-thing anymore it doesn't feel like i have a two-piece bonus i know it's affected and i know it's going on in the background but it just kind of fades into the rest of the uh, what I call screen herpes and everything else that's going on because the damage of it isn't doing a whole lot and uh, effectively the impact it's having in combat is minimal. Um, maybe if that had a different impact, I don't know. I, I actually don't know anything that I would change with it, but it's just it's not doing anything on the screen, um, unfortunately. The amount of damage is minimal and it's just it, it, you kind of forget that it's even there. And then you know, to wrap it, the, all the thoughts up, it just feels like Bone Spear needs to change. That's the core of the issue here. I feel like Bone Spear, if it were, if it had better impact, if it had better damage, just across the board was different, it would do a lot more. Um, again, my thoughts are the, the Teeth Rune and the one that makes it explode are really cool and those feel like they have impact, but the rest of them don't. The piercing through enemies, it just... It, it almost feels like the Bone Spear just fades into the background and just damage is coming out of nowhere. Um, and it feels like that that is not the way it should feel. It should feel like when you throw the Bone Spear, it's this huge impactful thing on the screen, um, but it's not. It, that's not the case. And then also to top that all off, I don't really you know, necessarily feel like the items that are added to the game are badly designed i feel like they're there and that they're they're having an effect a cool effect and that they are well designed in fact i think the the bone spear weapon is really cool the fact that it increases the cost but increases the damage i like that it's just it's not enough and i think that goes across the board with a lot of these cool items even like the corpse explosion one if the percentile were higher on it i would absolutely use them which means that it's not a bad item it's just not enough if you're in the beta leave your thoughts on the pestilence set the plague set uh, below because i think it is it's still a cool set but it just needs a little bit of work in order to make it really awesome and maybe our combined uh, thoughts might might come up with something really really cool that nobody has thought of yet but with that being said we shall see you guys next time Thank you.